I'll add you on Facebook. Oh, do you have an Instagram? How many times have you heard that? Or something like that? Probably a lot. As a 19 year old in college, I'm extremely aware that social media and social networking in general has been expanding tremendously. However, I do not think that is necessarily a bad thing. Today I will be discussing why social media is seen as a bad thing by some individuals, but I will also be addressing why it is a positive impact on our society, explaining why it allows us to stay connected to other people and how it helps promote programs and events. We'll start off with a quick history of social media. Michael Simon states that the first social network was actually CBBS, an acronym for Computerized Bulletin Board System. From there, social media has grown immensely, from MySpace to Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and many more sites. It is obvious that social media is a part of our everyday lives. As stated before, there are some naysayers of social media. Some believe that the cons outweigh the pros. They have a variety of reasons, one of them being lack of face-to-face -face interaction. In an article named Why Social Networking is Bad for Your Health, Nikola Perov writes in his self-development blog what he believes are the downfalls of social networks. One of his reasons is one that many argue when speaking about social media. It is that it is a major time waster. For instance, Hey guys, what are you doing? Homework. Oh. In addition, there are also other obvious concerns, including privacy and bullying. Although the other side's rebuttals are valid, it is important to remember that using social network sites are not in any way meant to take over your life, and the actual networking site itself does not define who you are online or even offline. As Patrick Dreesen said, social media should improve your life, not become your life. On the contrary, I believe that social media has a more positive impact on our lives. One reason I believe this is because it allows programs, events, or groups to be able to find recognition. The following clip features Karen, who works for ISU's Honors Program. The Honors Program has firsthand benefited from the use of social media, and Karen will be representing the Honors Office in my video. In what ways has social media impacted your program? So social media has really helped the honors program this semester. We've upped our followers on Twitter, Instagram, and had more likes on our Facebook page, and that's kind of helped us with our hashtag honors proud and other like at honors ISU, just trying to promote that as much as possible. Um, telling people to follow us whenever they can. Um, whenever we had uh, like opportunities for uh, sophomore honors designation, or if we had. Um, events that we were planning we always tried to do that we did what's up wednesdays we do um, motivation hashtag motivation mondays um, we just try to feature students in their academic areas to make them feel like you get a sense of more community in that sense and then we just kind of worked on trying to make us a more um, well-known program within the university and that's really helped us to especially get this new award, which is the most improved social media award. Along with advertisements and promotions, another reason I believe social networking has a positive impact on our lives is because it allows us to keep connections while also allowing us to make new connections. For instance, a lot of my family lives around the world and staying in contact with them can be extremely hard. However, with the help of social network sites like Facebook, my family can keep up with me and I with them. For example, my mom and her family are now able to contact each other through social media sites with no extra fees. Whereas when she first came to America, she had to pay long distance phone calls in order to talk with her family in the Philippines. Overall, I believe that the pros of social networking outweigh the cons. To review, I spoke on the history of social media starting with CBBS, talked about why people think social media is having an overall negative effect on our lives, and finally spoke on how social networking allows us to maintain connections and promote businesses. Although I am aware that social media sites have their own flaws that should be fixed, I believe that social media sites should be embraced for the possible benefits that they bring to our table. In turn, we should all fill our social media sites with connections and friends instead of judgments. Hashtag social media.